Hello and welcome back everybody, and today we'll be taking a look at the World of Tanks Halloween Special. So what they came up for us is two pre-World War II models of French heavy tanks. And Franken is this one you see right ahead of you with a 90mm uh, fairly competitive uh, main cannon. And then you also have a 45 millimeter in the secondary turret on the front hole. And next we have Stein, which has a 105 millimeter howitzer in the very small turret, which looks like the turret of the Renault or uh, Char B1. And then we also have a, I would say, a 37 millimeter auto cannon in the rear which has a blistering amount of DPM. Like, holy cow, it's a lot of damage. But actually, the really cool thing is the Leviathan you see behind. And this thing is massive. As you can see on the right, <laughs> you don't know what its power is, what the gun is, but Oh my gosh, like look right here, you got two mortars in the rear. And then even on the side, you have four more guns. And then on the front, you have a massive, massive howitzer in the hole to go with, to accompany the main turret. But this big guy has got some pretty big weaknesses. And as you look around, you can see all the glowing bits on the tank and these are the weak spots which you will want to shoot at uh, if you are playing in the PVE modes versus the Leviathan. So right here on the hole, front hole, you'll be able to usually penetrate with the main guns not the secondaries. The side though right here that you can see me scrolling around you can penetrate with the secondaries. Not the side of the main turret though unless you're up close. Same goes for the back side of the turret. Usually from long range, the main will penetrate, but the underside of the turret can be penetrated almost from any distance, from any gun, any secondary, etc., etc. But just look at this beast. I, holy cow. And if you give the Leviathan a soft shot, a uh, soft side, with the main gun, holy cow, you'll just be annihilated. But here you can see the DPM of the main gun for Franken is around 2700. And that's actually pretty good when you compare it to Stein, but look ju just below and it's around 3000 DPM for the secondary. Now when we look at Stein, it only has about 1400 DPM with this main gun. It still has around 3000 DPM with its secondary. But when compared to Franken, it's, I'm kind of wondering why they didn't balance each tank out a little more. Like, yes, Stein does have a little bit more armor, which we will see later on. But at the same time, in competitive matches, PvP, and also in PvE, you want more DPM. So it just makes sense to take Franken. And you can see right here, it's like, I'm shooting at the weak spots on Stein. Because the minions in the PvE mode, they have glowing parts on them, and those are weak spots on the tanks. And fortunately I didn't showcase it here, but with Franken, one thing you can do in the PvP modes is just come right out and shoot both guns at the same time. And here you can see I'm also aiming for a bright yellow spot on the Franken with my secondary. And that is a really weak spot if you're playing and shooting at long range, you'll want to take that out. But you can already see we've taken out all the minions at the gate. And that'll allow us to focus on the other minions closer to the Leviathan now without having to worry about coming across them later. And also while we fight the Leviathan, we can stay ahead of it. And right here you can see 
the front of the uh, Stein is pretty heavy because if I was facing a Franken there, I would have gone straight through with my secondary. And that's kind of the advantage you get with the Stein is you're able to shrug off a few more shells and I guess that's why they thought it was all right balancing out the different DPMs, but you see more people taking uh, Franken more than the Stein. And you'll see a little later that those T-70s can be pretty treacherous, I gotta say. Like, oh, you do not want to run into them with the Stein. But so now what we're doing here is the team has taken care of the other uh, minions just sitting around and they're cleaning up. But what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get ahead of the Leviathan. And what most people do, as you can see what part of my team is doing, is they're kind of clumping up behind him. What I like to do is get ahead of the Franken, get ahead of the Leviathan, because here you can see his uh, lower slope, lower glacis. And that is just a prime target for Franken's 90mm cannon. And so is the side of the turret. So while the other teammates distract him from behind, from the side, I'm usually able to get shots into the side of the turret and also the under the lower glacis without really having to worry about taking retaliatory retaliating fire. So we're already at 11 minutes left. And with the DPM of around 2700 for the main gun, me just sitting here taking pot shots uh, for about at least nine of the minutes, because I'll have to move once Leviathan starts targeting me. So I'll start moving down towards the uh, gate and I'll be sitting back over there and that's what I'm doing right now but for about nine minutes of 2700 damage per minute that would roughly come out about to 20,000 damage in nine minutes and the Leviathan only has about 25,000 hit points and compared to a lot of World of Tank tanks that is a heck of a lot and you do definitely do not want to sit in front of the Leviathan at all. Because you'll just be annihilated, especially by the secondaries. Doesn't matter if you're... And right here you can see me targeting right below the turret. The bottom of the turret can be penetrated even from far range by the secondary of the Franken. So that'll actually boost your DPM up to about... Almost... Five, five to six thousand damage per minute. And now we're at close, lane, co close range where we can actually start using the secondary. And you can see these bubbles forming around me. Those are the mortars. So unlike Artie in World of Tanks, where it comes and hits and explodes immediately, what Franken does is the shots come down, hit the ground, and they remain as a bubble, and only if you ri run into them will they explode, like you just see here. But thankfully, the whole my whole team was still alive for that game. And I was able to just kind of sit in the front and pick off health and keep going, keep going. So, it was a pretty productive game, taking out all the other minions. Well, we did lose one guy, but as you can see, I'm second in damage. And it didn't look like I did that much, but I helped out with the minions at the base, at the gate, so we don't have to worry about them later. And then I just came back and started working on the Leviathan self. So this is what you get sometimes for completing missions during this event, is you get a little sarcophagus, and you get credits, um, other things like that. Uh, like bonuses like oh you'll get two times crew experience etc etc and now we're playing here in the stein so this was kind of before i learned 
what I like, how I like to play the PvE mission. But I knew already that we need to take care of the guys at the gate. We need to take care of them or else when we eventually fall back with the Leviathan to the gate, we would have to eventually take them out. And here at close range, you can actually see uh, the Stein's secondary is quite good. And return fire hurts a lot. But thankfully, the AI bots just let you shoot their side and don't really care about anything. And here you can see a little friendly fire from my Franken right behind me, but unfortunately, it doesn't seem like you have the ability yet to switch between the views of turrets. So when you are sitting uh, side on to someone, you may have a friendly sitting in front of you, in front of your second turret. And you go to shoot it, but you actually don't know that they're in front of it. And, oh boy. Unfortunately, the Stein is much faster than the Franken. And, well, yeah. <laughs> so, you want to avoid the T-70s. And finally, oh my gosh, someone had actually come back and here I am in the chat saying, My hero. And, and I'm very happy that they did come back because it, sometimes in World of Tanks it's very hard to get people to work with you and to actually help out. But there are usually a good amount of players who will do that. And unfortunately, I didn't learn yet. Yep. I did it a second time. And now this time I'm right in front of the Leviathan. Oh, look at that view. Oh, uh, so there's nothing I can do here. <laughs> like, if the Leviathan started targeting me, thankfully the other guys are keeping him busy, but if he decided to target me... Uh, help me, help me, help me. <laughs> and unfortunately, my friend over there... They, good they are attacking the Leviathan, but I mean... It'd be a little more entertaining if I could at least do something. <laughs> Oh, woe is me. But you can see, like, the, my friend right over there had full health right before this, and now only about 200 health left. So even sitting at that range to the, Levi the Leviathan is still going to hurt a whole lot to its secondaries. And here we're seeing the Leviathan's almost there, but I'm just gonna <laughs> come in and steal the kill. Classic World of Tanks, right? <laughs> Someone else does all the work, and here, here I come and just, yep, I, I, I did what I did, needed to do. Yep. So we get another reward for completing another mission, probably for uh, killing like three tanks, etc., etc and also killing the Leviathan. But here you can see, this is one of the games I had lost. Don't know what the one guy's doing over on the side, but my whole team was just sitting back behind the Leviathan. And when it turns the turret around, there isn't much you can do. But if you do sit behind the back, you can actually shoot the lower glacis of the rear of the tank. And actually, I watched Quickie Baby's video and that's what he did. Which I originally didn't think of, but I prefer to sit back with a Franken and just kind of snipe at it and just let my DPM do the rest. There are also other missions which you want to kill a Leviathan 10 times and you'll get a special medal. If you uh, survive the game 10 times and win, you'll also get another medal. And if you win 25 times, uh, I believe it gives you another medal along with that. And we also have rewards for other, for the tank site. So thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And you should go try this out. It's actually quite fun.